Okay, I'm back. I have all of my little planning done as far as uh, showing you some examples and then you guys can um, do the same thing throughout depending on what your needs are. So the first thing I wanted to show you is back here. This template is an odd sized. Um, I showed it to you earlier. It's um, it's a pocket where it folds and then this folds under so it's almost like a packet it just doesn't have a top and this is the specific tag that goes in there um, I almost always end up having to say specific or edited <laughs> and those are two words I just hate having to say anyway so what I thought I would do is instead I would just hold them in hold it in with a belly band if the belly band is flat, as you know, a flat pocket is, is a little snug too. So um, it seemed to me like that was going to be pretty safe. So let's go ahead and put that in. This one's fairly straightforward. But I just thought I would show you a way that I came up with to um, hold these kind of crazy shapes and things. Um, there's a bigger version of one of these in the works for some bigger templates. Um, but we're not going to do that as our next series because, you know, that would just kind of make my head explode and probably yours too. Okay, so that's on there. Templates installed. Now, remember, we've got the insides of these big envelopes. So this is uh, one of my blanks, um, but I, and I have several of them exactly the same so I decided to keep this one as a template so I just slid it in there and um, you have to excuse me I'm a little sniffly this morning and then in this envelope here I I didn't get any words ready um, I made a video on how to make words in Word and so you can look that up on the YouTube channel and that shows you how to make words in Word kind of self-explanatory there and so uh, I just uh, haven't got a chance to do that yet. These are those ones with the odd tops on them that I showed you. You probably can't see them against this background. The piece of paper I showed you to make your planner on that I didn't make my planner on. Okay, so remember those. All right, so I'm keeping them all together in this smaller envelope. And then I'm going to label this one, you know, maybe like a scalloped top, something like that. Now, when this, and then that's there, and then this flips this way. And now on this one, and you may have to leave your templates out um, once while you're working on it or make sure you're not working on um, oh I know what it is okay this is what I wanted to show you I found room for my origami paper templates <laughs> but I'm gonna take about right now this is the very back of the um, uh, template keeper remember this is the cover I haven't decorated it so those are going to go in there. I'm going to take them out for right now. They're kind of squishy. I think that's part of what my problem is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. All right. So your pockets are squares and rectangles. So I'm pretty sure you can cut them out. So um, I've decided to put these long ones on this long page. In this series of videos have been a little disjointed. I got partway through and realized that on one I had gotten a little sidetracked. Then on another, I, I thought I was going to make it on the end of another one and then it ended up being the beginning of this one. And so um, everything is in the right order, you know, so don't get upset or anything. But um, I just... Um, wanted to apologize if that seemed a little odd now this is that one that um, 
or these are two big ones that are from a kit, but I decided to use them as templates. So I'm going to put them in there. And this is the same, but it's a different, it was the one with the off cut corners that I thought was a little interesting. They're all big. And then this is the one that opens out that you trace around to make the folding one. And so that's going to go there. And it all matches so very, very well. I'm going to have to put you on pause so I can go blow my nose. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. I don't know. Uh, you would think a person that takes as much allergy medicine as I take that uh, wouldn't have quite so many sniffles problems, but uh, I seem to always have the sniffles. Okay, now these are all these little tiny, long, skinny ones. Um, this one I actually may put somewhere else because it's, um, these are, uh, this is a flag. Hmm. I think I'll just put this one somewhere, somewhere different because it's a flag and not a tag. I don't want to put it in with the, uh, aha, another little paper clip was hiding. Anyway, so these long skinny ones, I'm going to put on this long skinny part of the backside of this one. I don't need that paper clip on there anymore either. My paper clip holder is getting refilled very quickly and it's getting very happy. Okay, so I made this to go across here. Kind of cut that one a little close, didn't I? Was I going to make this? No, I inked all the way around it. I actually was prepared and inked everything before I turn the camera on. So anyway, I'm putting the little ones on the back side of the little envelope. Kind of makes sense. And I'm going to have to um, make another one of these because I have way too many templates. And I never remember to use them. Please don't tell anybody I had admitted that. But it's true. It's true. Okay. So I wasn't trying to color coordinate or anything. But, um, yeah. So I just thought it would be kind of fun to patchwork it. This one just happened to come out to be the same as what that was made from. I wrote the word template on the template. Anyway, so all these little skinny ones are going to go in here. And then we're going to flip this over. And I did save this off the corner of a printout from Victoria Designs. Because, guess what I discovered? All of these little crazy ones that had the tear corners or whatever. All of these corners all actually fit in this one envelope make it a little fat but uh so and I, I i realize that this is longer on one end i just like it that way i don't know why so they're all from victoria's designs victoria designs which uh i'll put a link to below their flow program is amazing they have a monthly subscription program that's only $12 a month. Come here, you. There we go. I thought about putting it right there, but then these kind of stick out a little bit, and I was afraid it would get covered, so I decided to put it here. And apparently I decided to put it there crooked. Or maybe I cut it a little crooked. <gasps> no. Terry, you didn't. Now here, I decided what I would do. I was going to make a, um, a gusseted pocket, but instead of that, what I decided to do is make two pockets. So, I have a runaway paper clip somewhere. Somehow my paper clip jar got way too far away and somehow I feel like I'm talking about paper clips way too much so 
I uh, decided to put one pocket here and then put one pocket up here so when you have this template in here and let's say for example this template down here you could still have this pocket here do you see what I mean and then it doubles your storage space for some smaller templates so I decided to do that. Sorry about the sniffling. I got a bunch of gunk on the end of there, don't I? No wonder. It's already eaten through my nail polish, the acetone in the <laughs> in the glue. Okay, so we're gonna glue these two in real quick. Oh, and this is up the letters are upside down. How could I? How could I? All right. Well, we have to make sure that Virginia, I think it's Virginia, Missouri is right side up. So now let's see. We don't want this smaller one to stick out the top. So let's see where we want it to be. All right here seems like it would be fine. Or maybe down just a smidge. Right there above that little swirly swirl. Someone made the comment below one of my videos that I should put the mic closer to my mouth because the breathiness would be would be better, which I appreciate that comment because I would love to have a sexy, breathy voice, but then you would just hear me sniffling all the time even more, <laughs> and then you'd be like, wait a minute. Did I tune into the sniffling channel or am I supposed to be watching how to make stuff? Okay. So now you just put your smaller one up here. And your bigger one down here. Okay. So you get the idea. And you've got some in here. And you can put some on here just like I did. On the front of this one here okay and you've got these inside here this is only one side and then you've got these on here now I've got my origami inside here oh that one I'm really sorry for now I think I've decided to go ahead and just put paper on this I don't think I'm going to extend this because I don't want it to get too heavy. I forgot about how heavy paper is. So I think I am going to paper mine, but I'm not going to paper it on camera. So then now you've got this big area. You could use a belly band across this way to hold some big uh, templates in, or you could use a gusseted pocket and put some uh, larger tag templates in and then you've got this envelope here and this area here and then you've got the cover okay so that's it that's all we've got I did the whole inside on this side for you oh except for I didn't put anything in there that's why you want to put the labels so you don't forget that you've got a pocket somewhere and you're looking all over um, all these templates that go together I could have put my circle ones in there so I could put my shape ones in there and just put the word shapes right here and then I would know they were in there. I'm going to take them out for right now so I'm not looking all over for my circles. And so I still have this many left and then I've got some bigger ones that are still in my template drawer 
which now is going to have this nifty neat little holder in there and another nifty neat little holder for this one and then possibly possibly a manila folder size one um, for my bookshelf that I just put together uh, I'll show you a picture of anyway to store all of my templates in and then they're not running around loose all over in a drawer so that's it for this series and I will see you in the next series and that will be just a second for you and I don't know this time probably about a week for me bye bye